Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Eric Ten Hag reveals Jaden Sancho is not physically or mentally ready to play. Ten Hag is unsure when Jaden Sancho will make his Manchester United return. Manchester United signed Jadon Sancho from Borussia Dortmund last year. Manchester United got Jadon Sancho for £73 million. I think it added up to £78 million in total with add-ons. Jadon Sancho is under contract with the club until 2026 as an option of an additional year. Uh, Sancho... Did very well at Borussia Dortmund before he came to Manchester United. Now, Eric Ten Hag is excited by the Glazer sale. The Glazers have set an asking price of between six to seven billion, yeah. What? Yeah, six to seven billion to sell Manchester United. Uh, was it the other month? The Glazer family confirmed that they're open to selling the club. Like I said, if the Glazers do sell Manchester United, a deal is likely to be done by spring. So Man United could have new owners by the end of the season. Like I've said, we've got to get the Glazers out of the club because they've been a massive issue at the club for such a long time. And for such a long time, United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. The Glazers have owned Manchester United for 17 years. They purchased the club for around £790 million back in 2005. So if they sell the club for around six or seven billion, they're going to make a massive profit. <clears throat> now, not so long ago, it said Amazon are interested in buying Manchester United from the Glazer family. Amazon is an American multinational technology company. Not so long ago, it said Apple were interested in buying Manchester United uh, for quite some time. So Jim Ratcliffe has been interested in buying the club. <coughs> Ortega's been interested in buying Man United. So, yeah. And obviously, you know the news regarding Cody Gakpo. PSV's director of football, Marcel Brands, said that PSV will demand a club record deal for Cody Gakpo. It could cost around £55 million, but the PSV, PSV's director of football has said that Cody Gakpo could be sold in January. Uh, there's been a lot of players that Manchester United have been linked with. It's not long now until the January transfer window opens. Uh, the January transfer window will be Eric Ten Hag's second transfer window as Man United manager. I presume he's going to get a transfer budget of around £100 million. <clears throat> uh, So far, Ten Hag has enjoyed one transfer window as Man United manager and he's brought six additions to the squad. He brought Terrell Malassia in, Christine Eriksen, Lisandro Martinez, Casemiro, Anthony and Martin Dubrovka. Eric Ten Hag has spent over £200 million so far as Manchester United manager. Let me put into the equation, though, that Eric Ten Hag has let players go as well, but despite that, he's still inheriting players from other managerial eras. So the players, you know, we've seen leave this year. We saw Dean Henderson go out on loan to Forest. Lee Grant left the club. 
Alex Tellez went out on loan to Sevilla. Eric Bai went out on loan to Marseille. Pogba and Matic left on free transfers. Matic went to Rome and Pogba went back to Juventus. Lingard left on a free. He went to Nottingham Forest. <coughs> Cavani and Matt are left on free transfers. Uh, don't forget Ronaldo got sacked by the club. By the way, Ronaldo's been training at his former club, Real Madrid, following his Man United exit. Eric Ten Hag said not so long ago that Ronaldo never told him he wanted to leave. Eric Ten Hag is looking to replace Ronaldo in January. Don't forget Ronaldo denied reports that he was set to sign for Saudi Arabian side Al Nassar. He said that Ronaldo would play for Saudi Arabian club Al Nassar from the 1st of January 2023 because he said he agreed 172 million a season and he'd been offered a two and a half year deal. Uh, Man United, of course, sold Andres Pereira to Fulham as well this year, sold James Garner to Everton, will loan Defen Laird out to QPR, loaned Hannah Baumich Brown to Birmingham, loaned Amad Diallo Traore out to Sunderland. So they're a lot of the players that have left the club this year and certainly next year, Ten Hag will be looking to get rid of more players. Uh, next year, uh, he'll get rid of Alex Tellez permanently. He'll get rid of Bailly permanently. Um, I think he'll get rid of Tom Eaton as well. You know, Tom Eaton is Man United's third choice goalkeeper. With obviously Man United getting Martin De Bravka in on loan from Newcastle. Tom Eaton did recently come on as a sub in the 1-0 defeat to Real Betis. Um, at the time we brought Tom Eaton in though, we brought him in as a backup to David De Gea. Man United got Tom Eaton on a free transfer from Aston Villa. Um, I reckon that Eric Ten Hag will get rid of Dean Henderson permanently. Um, I heard he's doing well at Forest, but revert back to when he was at Man United, Henderson. He didn't get enough opportunities, did he? And he was most of the time behind De Gea. I think there was one point, though, when Man United gave him that number one jersey. Uh, Ten Hag will get rid of Brandon Williams as well. He's been playing in friendlies, you know, he played against, was it Real Betis, he played against Cadiz, uh, come back from injury not so long ago, last season was out on loan with Norwich, was Brandon Williams, uh, Ten Hag will get rid of Tuan Zebe, um, I think he's still injured at the moment, but he's another one that doesn't get in the team, last season Tuan Zebe was out on loan with Villa, he's enjoyed like three loan spells with Villa. Uh, don't forget Harry Maguire has been told he can leave the club for the sake of his career. Harry Maguire is too inconsistent, plus he's no longer one of Man United's first choice centre-halves following the arrival of Lissandro Martinez. Revert back to before the World Cup. Maguire was obviously starting some games because obviously Varane was unavailable for injury. Uh, there were some games he didn't start though, Maguire, when Varane was unavailable. Obviously, sometimes with started Lindelof ahead of Maguire. Man United overpaid for Harry Maguire, got him for £80 million from Leicester back in 2019. When Maguire officially signed for the club, he signed a six-year contract. To revert back to last season, the vast majority of Man United fans were demanding for the captaincy to be taken off Maguire. Uh, Ten Hag will get rid of Van wan -Bissaka as well. Um, he can't get in the team because Diego Dallo is Manchester United's first choice right back. I heard that Anwan Bissaka is going to be going back to Crystal Palace. He was there before he came to Manchester United. Uh, Ten Hag is going to sell Fred as well. It said a few weeks ago that he's decided to sell Fred. It's mentioned Maguire as well. As you all know, I've got my strong reservations about Fred. Fred is no longer one of Man United's first choice centre midfielders following the arrivals of Casemiro and Christian Eriksen. But despite that, you know, there's been games this season where Fred started and 
Um, there's been some games where he's played alongside Casemiro. I do recall him playing alongside Ericsson as well. Uh, the best game Fred had this season by far was a 2-0 win against Tottenham. He did score in that game. Man United got Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk around four years ago in a deal worth £50 million. Fred is in the final year of his deal. <clears throat> Ten Hag could possibly sell Martial next year, but there's a lot of Manchester United fans that would like to see Martial stay. Martial, of course, scored from the penalty spot in the 4-2 defeat to Cadiz. Martial is under contract with Man United until 2024. Uh, he's been at Man United since 2015. Man United got him from Monaco last season. Martial was out on loan with Sevilla. Um, he hasn't played many games this season because he's been hampered with injuries. There you go. And you know the news regarding Marcus Rashford? Uh, PSG are interested in signing Marcus Rashford on a free transfer. The PSG president confirmed that not so long ago. Uh, PSG are willing to offer Marcus Rashford a huge salary, I heard. Uh, not so long ago, though, it said that Man United would offer Marcus Rashford a new long-term deal with Rashford's current contract expiring in the summer. But Man United are worried they may have to sell Rashford. Uh, Rashford is enjoying a very good season to his standards. He just needs to be more clinical in front of goal. He's got over 100 goals now for Man United, by the way. Uh, revert back to September, he got named Premier League Player of the Month. Um, he did well for England during the World Cup as well. He scored, was it, like three goals or four goals in, like, five appearances, something like that. So, yeah. So, there you go. But, um, Eric Ten Hag, you know, he's lost his last two games. You know, Man United lost 1-0 to Real Betis, lost 4-2 to Cadiz. You know, Ten Hag lost two games in just three days. But, you know, I still think Ten Hag is the right manager for Manchester United. I'm not going to prejudge him. You know, he does need time. This is his first full season. Eric Ten Hag's expectations this season is to get Manchester United a top four finish. And we're certainly in that top four race because we're fifth. If Ten Hag could win a trophy this season, that'd be even better because Man United have not won a domestic trophy since 2017. Earlier on this year, don't forget, Eric Ten Hag got named Premier League Manager of the Month. Ten Hag replaced Ralph Rangnick earlier on this year. He's under contract with Man United until 2025. He's Manchester United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. You know, Man United have let five managers go since Ferguson. Of course, after Ferguson, we had David Moyes, we sat Tim. After that, we had Louis van Gaal, we sat Tim, but we did win the FA Cup under him. After him, we had Jose Mourinho, we sat Jose Mourinho after two and a half years. Excuse me, back. Mourinho did enjoy one good season at Man United because he won three trophies in his first season but didn't do well in his second season. After that, we had uh, Solskjaer. We sacked him in November of last year. He was the Man United manager for almost three years. And obviously after that, we had Rangnick and Ralph Rangnick left Man United earlier on this year. Rangnick was Man United's interim manager for around five months. But... um. In the last 10 years or so, Man United have spent over £1 billion. We've brought over 40 players in since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. But, um, like I said before, Man United have not been the same team since Sir Alex Ferguson retired and... 
it's going to be hard for someone to replicate what Ferguson produced at the club. You know, when Ferguson was the Man United manager, he brought success to Man United because he won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles, but he didn't settle in straight away because he didn't win out in his first four years at Man United. You know, Alex Ferguson was a long-serving manager at the club. He was the Man United manager for around 26 years. You know, Alex Ferguson retired almost 10 years ago. You know, the last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013. Man United have won 20 titles and 13 of them are Premier League titles. But I've only known Man United being very, very dom dominant under Ferguson. You know, we're doing all right under Tenag, but obviously not as good as Ferguson. Revert back to before Ferguson, we had Ron Atkinson, you know, weren't that good under him. Uh, before that, you know, we had Franco Farrell, weren't good under him either. We actually got relegated under Franco Farrell, was it back in 1974? Franco Farrell passed away, was it last year or the year before? one point we had Matt Busby, we had good periods under Matt Busby. At uh, one point, we had Wolf McGuinness as well, you know, weren't that good under him. So, anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes, below on the channel if you do consider subscribe as always. And take care, God bless, and I'll see you all again very soon.